Hey everybody, my name is Nick and I'm one of the early backers for the Arsenal and I'm really excited to share an unboxing video with you guys today. I'm just going to go through uh, quick here at the beginning. We got a FedEx box um, and then inside that it's pretty well packed. Uh, another box inside um, and then inside there we've got the actual uh, retail looking box uh, inside some more bubble wrap so definitely not damaged in transit open this up and you can see there's a nice looking box inside um, shrink wrapped um, cut through this and we've got the retail box um, nicely packaged uh, good good fit some papers inside and then the arsenal sweet okay feels nice hefty um, it's got a little pull tab here to take off the last bit of plastic and that's a uh, Good looking, nice, nice weight to it. Um, it's also got cables um, for the connecting to the camera, an AC adapter because I'm in the US or Canada, the charge cord here as well. Um, let's get this plugged in so we can start playing with it. As you can see, it took me a couple tries to get the USB cable plugged in the right way. Uh, there's two teeth that come out of the USB on one side of the plug, and those two teeth should be aimed downward, uh, and then it'll go in just fine. Um, and that applies for both the USB cable on the left side of the device and on the right side of the device, the teeth face downward. And then the lights come on. we got the orange light that's charging, the green light that means it's powered on, and... So we'll get that charged up, and in the meantime, head over to the App Store, download the latest update uh, for the Arsenal remote app, and then when you do that, it prompts you to download a firmware update, which is 400 plus megs, so it takes a little while, depending on your internet, and then it sends it over to the Arsenal, which loads it, so all in about 20 minutes, maybe 25 minutes, and uh, then you're up and running and ready to go. So now I've got it plugged into my camera in the hot shoe. Uh, as you can see, I've got a D90 here, not a top of the line camera, but it's what I've got. And uh, a couple of lenses to try it out as well. Um, so let's see what the photos look like. So I'm not an expert photographer. The reason I was interested in the Arsenal was because it seemed like it would give me the ease of use of HDR on my iPhone but be able to take advantage of the superior sensor in my camera and the lenses with my camera. So what I've done here is I've taken a bunch of photos in automatic mode on the camera, the Nikon, um, and then also taken it using automatic exposure stacking with the Arsenal. Obviously, if you dialed in specific settings or if you did post-processing, you'd be able to get better shots with just the camera. Uh, but the whole idea here is to do control testing to see here's what you get in auto with the camera and here's what you get in auto with the arsenal. So in this first shot, um, you can see the sky's a bit washed out in the auto mode from the Nikon. Um, and what I could tell having been there is that the colors were a little bit washed out. And here it is with the arsenal, the colors are more natural, brighter, and the sky looks a bit better as well because of the exposure stacking. And I should note, these are just JPEGs that the camera kicked out um, without any post-processing at all. Here's another photo. As you can see, uh, it's really blown out with the Nikon's automatic processing. The focus is purposely here on the acorn in the foreground, and the background is just completely washed out. Uh, with the Arsenal doing the automatic exposure stacking, the photo is much nicer. Um, it's a little bit artistic, but it's undeniably better than the photo that the camera took on its own, and this is without any post-processing on the Arsenal. And then here's a shot I just thought I'd give it a try. What happens if you take a sunset shot? Obviously, with the Nikon's auto mode, this is a pretty terrible photo. Um, but with the Arsenal, it actually recovers some uh, detail on the sun, uh, but maintains some detail on the railing here. So it's not a well-composed shot, but I just thought, hey, what if we stretch it to its limits and just take a sunset shot? Um, and it looks all right here. 
Switching to a different scene, here's a picture of a bear that's in my front yard. Uh, with the auto mode on the Nikon, it actually wanted to take this with flash, and so you can see a little bit of reflection coming off the varnish on the bear, which is not great. Um, the colors are also a bit off here, which you could fix in post, but obviously it's better if you don't have to. And with the Arsenal, you don't have to. Uh, it gives more accurate color uh, and there is a bit of fuzziness in the background. I think this is because there was some wind and so the leaves were blowing and it was taking a couple of different shots and stacking them all together. And then lastly we've got some up-close photography here. Um, this like the last photo was using a zoom lens and uh, this is the before photo and the arsenal photo is Better looking, obviously the colors can be dialed up in post, but uh, the Arsenal does that much more accurately than the Nikon auto mode did. You do note that in the Arsenal photo, the spiny plant to the right of the sort of central plant is a little bit blurry. Here it is back in the original version. You can see it's a bit sharper here, and it's a little bit blurrier in the Arsenal version. That's probably because of the stacking. So. In some circumstances, that might not be acceptable, uh, but for this particular photo, the focus was on the uh, green plant to the left of it, so I didn't actually notice until I was comparing the two photos side by side. Overall, I have to say I'm pretty pleased with how the arsenal is shaping up. Um, when I first got my tester unit, uh, there were still some bugs to be worked out with the D90 specifically, which is an older camera, uh, but Ryan and the team was pretty quick to address all of that, and now it's running much, much better. Um, and I'm able to do the exposure stacking like I've shown here um, and also shot some handheld shots as well. I look forward to future updates to see how they can improve on where it is now. But uh, as it is, um, it delivers on what it is I was looking for, which is the ease of use of my iPhone's HDR, um, but uh, using the hardware of the Nikon that I already have. So I'm pretty thrilled with it. And I look forward to seeing what other people can do with the Arsenal using the manual modes um, and, uh, and seeing the shots that come out of people's far superior cameras. I'm going to be posting some more photos at Nick Lam on Twitter if you want to follow along. Thanks for watching.